What's up, this is Emrose and welcome to my channel. I had the idea to make some designs for my bread bubble shop in celebration of Pride Month this June. And then I had another idea, which was to take you along with me on the full process from making the art, finessing the idea to uploading and managing the design on my Redbubble store. I will have three pride designs coming out when this video goes up and all of them will be available in a variety of colors corresponding with the different pride flags and I will be donating the proceeds from all of these designs through the end of the month of June to Lost and Found Atlanta which is a nonprofit that helps combat homelessness for LGBTQ youth. All right this is gonna be a quick one come along with me. So first I start out by scrolling through some references on Pinterest. Uh, so you can see here, I snagged some cool vintage bicycle images with baskets full of flowers because that is going to be the basis for our first design. And then here you can see me doing my very, very messy, but very rough sketch of the bicycle. I like to work with a big fat pencil and my sketchbook and kind of not fuss too much about the layout or anything like that. So you can see uh, actually a little sneak peek of one of my other designs for this Pride Collection launch. Um, they're all overlapping on this page here. The real reason I do this in my sketchbook is to just kind of get my hand uh, to feel sort of the forms and kind of practice those movements a little bit before I move on to the final. And there's a little sneak preview of the designs. There will be three of them. I'll show you them at the end. And here's the pencil sketch plus the liner. She's not a beauty, but she gets the job done, all right? So all I do is pop this open, make sure the scan bed is kept for free, which is not. Hold on one second. Here's the key part. I'm going to be scanning this at a resolution of 1200 dpi which is the appropriate amount for getting a paper of this size to the right number of pixels required by virtually all of the uh, items that Redbubble is able to print. And since this is such a high dpi scan it is going to take a while so first I do a little preview scan give it a crop so it doesn't have to analyze the whole scan bed and then it's just going to take in this area here and we'll get a file from it. After this I'll be removing the white of the background so I just have those lines and then I will be doing a bunch of other cleanup work digitally and then I'm going to take you along on the journey of coloring all the different pride flags that I will be putting up. So here I am using the iPad app Procreate to fix up those lines. I'm just tidying up the scan, making sure all of the lines are connected where I want them to be, removing any little freckles from the scan. So here you can see my layer set up. I thought I might be able to do all the pride flag variations in one file, but as you'll see later, I do have to change that because the resolution was a little bit too big for Procreate to handle. So I ended up making different files for each and every one. But then I begin the really fun part, which is creating the swirled kind of groovy patterns within the bicycle itself. Right now I am working on the bisexual flag colors right here and I'm just applying them sort of in sequence onto the frame of the bike and then I created a clipping mask uh, so that those lines would remain within the frame of the bike. This is just a really easy way to do it and then duplicate it between all the different colors of the pride flags. And then I'm using the liquify tool to drag those colors around and create those really cool swirly patterned lines. Moving on now to the flower basket, I'm using a watercolor brush to just slap down those by Pride Colors once again. Um, I'm keeping it really loose and really fun. Uh, this is on its own layer right here. And I'm just grouping them together in ways that seem pretty natural and go well with the overall feel 
of the bite. Here's another example of the liquify tool using the asexual pride flag colors just for your satisfaction. This was my favorite part of the whole process. I'm using it on one of the other designs in this launch too. Just a really, really fun feature of Procreate. It kind of reminds me of like those bikes you had when you were a kid that had like flames running up the sides or whatever, like very early 2000s graphic design, little, tiny, uh, you know, training wheel bikes for kiddos. Here I am uploading the buy bicycle to my Redbubble store. So it takes a little bit to process the file and you can work on the title and the tags during that time. And then the real work comes when you have to position your design on each of the individual products. So you can scale the size of the design and you can move it around um, as you can see on this t-shirt, I can move it up into sort of like the top third of the shirt. It defaults to a lower position, which I think is a little bit odd. I usually put it all the way up at the top. And then I proceed to go through each and every one and place the design uh, in a way that looks good to me, in a way that makes sense with it. And it's at this phase where you can change the background color of some items as well. So. After spending some time with that, when you press save, you get a page where you can preview all of your designs. This is the rainbow pride bicycle design, and you can see it rendered on all the separate images. Now it's a little easier when you're doing color variations to use this feature where you can copy the settings of a product you've already designed and just swap out the image file and change up the titles and everything. So that's what I did since I had over 12, I believe, um, color variations for this particular design. Definitely use this feature a lot. As you can see here, another file is uploading, but then I don't have to change any of the product placements because they're using those settings from one of the previous ones that I had already input. You can also use this feature to really easily create variations of background color. So the first one I put in for this design had a yellow background and you can see it here previewed on all the products. However, I also wanted there to be an option for it to have a purple background. So I use that copy settings feature and then I just go into the individual products that have the yellow background and I pop in the purple I want to use. And there it is previewed and I'll just do that for all the rest of them. Once I had all my designs ready, I made some social media posts using the website Canva. Here's an example. And then I got ready for launch day. I initially set all of my designs to private, but then on the day that I want to launch and I want to make them available, I make them all public. I pop them into a folder, actually called a collection. So they'll be available, easy to find as a group at the top of my store. There will be three designs in this launch. I'll put them all on the screen. And that's a really, really quick rundown of how I run my Redbubble store. There are a few different quirks to designing for and maintaining your storefront on Redbubble, and I'm definitely still getting used to them. But some of the little tips and tricks I showed in this video I found really helpful, and I hope if you are an artist who wants to open a Redbubble, this video is useful for you. Thank you so much and please consider purchasing one of these designs during the month of June. As I said, all of the proceeds will be going to Lost and Found Youth Atlanta, which is a nonprofit that helps combat homelessness in LGBTQ youth. I would love to keep these as charity items forever, um, but I do kind of need the funds to support this work, this visual art, all the painting I've been doing. So please consider checking out the rest of my store. On May 28th, which is the day this video will go out and the day I'm launching, there's actually a big sale on Redbubble and there are tons of great indie creators out there, tons of different 
product products available so if you're more interested in stickers or more interested in apparel stationery there's there's definitely something for you so check out my link down below and until next time this is emrose thanks so much bye bye